When you stick a bang and a question mark right next to each other like that, I get a bit confused. Is it supposed to express incredulity? Dwarves? You mean there are dwarves here? Is it just bonus punctuation because you need to make sure people aren't confusing you for Dwarf Fortress, one of the most excruciatingly detailed tunnel management simulators ever? Whatever dwarfs was trying to signify with its last two characters there, I may never know. But I do know this. Dwarfs is pretty fun to play and also to type. And say. You may have heard of the phrase herding cats. Well, this time you're herding dwarves who are all digging in their own directions and just wandering off only to accidentally strike trouble. Being dwarfs though, they've got certain proclivities. If there's a wall nearby, they'll probably try to burrow through it. If there's a mineral deposit, they're probably gonna go hoard shiny shit. If there's a goblin or a kobold or some other miscreant, they're gonna turn their picks on it, at least until your much beefier warriors come out to play with axes. But kobolds and that aren't your only problems. Turns out there are a bunch of mystery caves strewn about as well, which might contain treasure, or they may contain water or lava, which threatens to flood your entire network of tubes. If the hazards, natural or unnatural, get to your home base and manage to damage it completely, it's game over. No ale for you, come back in exactly one year. My arch nemesis, how dare he interrupt me happy drinking time? Dear God, what was that? Oh, it's just the tutorial dwarf. He leads you through all the steps of becoming a good dwarf overseer with audio commentary, that seriously needs the game turned down a bit and a bad faux Scottish dwarven accent that'd make Mike Myers hold a press conference and apologize. But then it turns a corner and you keep listening to it just because you want to hear how much worse it's going to get. Fortunately, if it becomes too much to bear, you can just turn it all off and read the dialogue. But then you don't get the chance to feel sorry for this joker who's doing his best fat bastard and trying to spill out lines like, we got a nice juicy discount on them arrows, so use them as much as you want. Go get them green bastards. I rest my case. But getting back to the actual game, Dwarves handles pretty much all the controls you need from context menus after clicking on things and dragging dwarves around to send them off to their destinations. While some aspects are fairly intuitive, the AI for combat will see your warriors digging through walls just to avoid bottlenecks and flank their enemies, Actually, getting your dwarves from point A to point B will usually send them burrowing through a number of walls, which isn't too much of a trouble, but can make you worry about travel time. If you, say, have lava burning holes in your walls and you need some minion to set off a stick of dynamite. By solidifying the dirt around hazardous caves, slaughtering enemies, and fulfilling any number of other conditions, you'll rack up the only commodity that really matters, score. The main arcade mode is just that, a score attack over a period of time of your choosing while bonus modes like preset challenges and even a tower defense game are available for a change of pace. Just make sure you have plenty of beer on hand when you play, because you are going to get thirsty. And maybe start talking in a horrible accent. CGR Undertow cannot be held responsible. Look at them artless bastards, hacking at the poor diggers as if they were juicy lumps of gold. Juicy lumps of gold. Mm. <coughs>